Hey guys, what's going on? I want to do something called Hi-Hat Independence. It was taught to me by uh, probably one of the greatest drummers you'll ever want to see in your life. Uh, a tremendous drummer. Uh, there's no words to describe him. Uh, he's just, uh, he's sick. He's amazing. He's uh, out of his mind as far as drumming goes. Just uh, brilliant behind the set. His name is Nicky Capozzi, and he was my drum teacher for two years, and that's going back to 82 to 84. That's almost 30 years ago. But he taught me so many things that I, um, I took and I use today. So many little things he taught me, I'll never forget. And uh, thanks, Nick. You're the best. He taught me one thing once called hi-hat independence, and I always practice it. You know, you could do it so many ways. It just keeps your mind, it's like the first step to a, a coordination, you know, with the other things. So I'm going to show you, it's just, you hit an open hi-hat and you close it. Pretty easy, right? Huh. Then you're going to add a bass drum against it. The bass is going to be going. All right, so let's try it together. I had independence. But it's good for the mind. You know, I love to do things that challenge the mind behind the set. I'm playing 30 years and I can learn something every day. This goes back a long way, so it's, it's close to my heart and I love doing it. It just gives you um, a better sense of a direction towards that off time stuff and your coordination. One more time, Nikki Capozzi's higher independence. If you want to change it up, whenever you're behind a set, make anything your own. If you want to change it up, you want to change your bass drum up. You know, there's um, seven drums here. Do whatever you want behind the set. Make it your own and, and try to create your own stuff. There's a lot of things I do today that Nicky never taught me, but there's so many things that I'll never forget that he did, and uh, that's one of them. So, one last time, high independence.